Fort Worth Zoo is teaming up with Mississippi State University to save an endangered species, and they're doing it using a fertility procedure normally reserved for hopeful mothers. Rachel O'Neill explains. The world's first Houston toads produced by in vitro fertilization using frozen sperm are here at the Fort Worth Zoo, a major accomplishment. Now, the zoo says they're trying to maximize this species because there's only 400 left in the wild. It's very concerning. Um, amphibians are bioindicators for a healthy environment. And when you start to, when these animals start to decline or disappear, then um, it's a red flag for us. And a major problem for the animal food system. These toads are vital to predators who feed on them. Yuri and Viola, who were named after the winter storms, were created by IVF and hatched in February. Their siblings are in the wild. The in vitro fertilization, we can select two to 300 eggs at a time from one female and then pair those eggs with sperm from a particular male. And then we can repeat that process and use sperm from a different male. So one female can produce many different cohorts, each with a different male. From the time the sperm and eggs are mixed to the time they transform into Houston toads only takes about a month. While lack of reproduction is a problem, Vance says other factors play a part. In the wild, there's a lot of habitat loss. There's also tox toxic poisons. Climate change is a big one. Climate change is a big one for um, affecting their ability to survive. But with the steady efforts in the near future, herptologists are hopeful Houston toads won't face the threats of being extinct. The goal of this project is to um, create greater genetic diversity within our captive and our wild populations. The Fort Worth Zoo plans to continue using assisted reproductive techniques until the species is recovered. In Fort Worth, Rachel O'Neill, CBS 11 News.